Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time and locations. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, my dear viewers, I am back again with another update. So guys, I have a video here I would like we all to watch. But before then, if you're meeting my channel for the very first time, you're highly welcome. Please kindly do all well to like, share and subscribe. Leave your thoughts about this video in the comment section. Let us know what you think about this video and I will see you towards the end. What the issues that you raise in your open letter, you are blown whistle and there are those who have called you uh, the activist in the APC NWC and now a lot of issues that you have raised, you have talked about um, uh, the Abdullah, uh, I mean, the Adamu uh, led uh, APC and the Omishore collabo which you criticized that uh, they bowed out of the office now um, uh, uh, Governor Ganduje is now at the helm of affairs but you have a fundamental issues about his emergence and the issues that have trailed when he was a governor and now you've raised issue also about president tunubu's policies but uh, because of national interest let's deal with that first and foremost inflation gotten to 24 percent today and also we understand now that there's a contention and speculation uh, about a possibility of a rise uh, or increase in the pump price of petrol and the presidency has said no we are not planning to do that but you have warned that the president need to be careful about his policy decisions. What are your greatest fears about uh, the policy decisions of President Tunobu? Okay, well, first, uh, thank you very much, Shewun. Let me start by clarifying until I think July 26, I was National Vice Chairman, Northwest of the APC. I have resigned since July 26. Um, so that clarification need to be made. The second issue is to say I raise all these issues because I'm a loyal party member and I believe very strongly that we have what it takes as a party and I believe President Asuaju come very ready and very competent to manage the affairs of the country. Um, I am trying to, I try to raise all these issues so that from the beginning we really get it right and all other issues that may have, may create any problem in the process of leadership between now and 2027 can be addressed. Having said all of that, I read the issue of disturbing, what I call disturbing signals, largely because I believe the first two weeks of uh, the assumption of office of President Aswaju, he started very well. And he started, his approval rating went very high. Everybody, all of us became very confident that he was really tackling the issues in the way they should be tackled. Um, unfortunately, uh, after two weeks, three weeks down the line, uh, to this period, we have a drop in the tempo and the momentum with which issues are being handled. And I think we need to return back to that tempo of the first two weeks of the administration. Um, now, some of the issues is about really availing the government the opportunity of access by party leaders so that they can help make input. Uh, things are now, I think the, the government is increasingly becoming isolated and isolated decisions are, uh, are, are, are being made and, uh, and I think these are some of the major challenge. All the issues you raise about uh, about uh, uh, inflation, increase in prices of petroleum products. It's because this, it will appear that we have taken isolated decision. And that if you go back during the campaign, we campaign based on the agenda Renew Hope. And it was clear, it was a comprehensive integrated plan. And I think that is where we need to go back and roll out all these things. So I think if we are able to achieve that, 
uh, will return back, President Aswaju, will return back to that temple and uh, the approval rating will begin to go up and all the issues will begin to be clarified. At the moment, because isolated decisions have been taken, things are becoming, life is becoming very hard, really. Uh, as you said, inflation is going up. Uh, a lot of things are just not right. And we need to bring this to the attention to the president so that uh, he will really uh, do something to correct it. You, you said in that uh, uh, the portion, uh, of course, uh, I, I refer to you as still the leader of the party from the Northwest, as a vice chairman Northwest, because the party had told us on this program that yes, they heard that you resigned, but they have not accepted your resignation. But we understand that it could be two ways. You resign and your resignation accepted. Well, that's a controversy between you and the party. But let's, let's move on. You have this, you've said that the expectations of many Nigerians have crashed about the Tinubu administration. And I'd like to get your view on um, uh, what you, the paragraphs where you related uh, on the policy decisions of this government. And there are those who believe that they had enough time, about three months to prepare since the president was declared um, uh, winner in that election. And in fact, what we understand was that there was a trip to, t uh, to France and we, we, where we understand that the president said he wanted to rest and focus on getting alliance with uh, foreign investors in the country. Now, those will be asking the questions, where are those preparations? Where are those investment opportunities? And now, the situation of the country is deteriorating. Yes, positive results, but the initial policy of the government is causing a lot of pains on Nigerians. But when you say they should go back to the very first moment when they got into office, what exactly do you mean about this? What I, what I mean is that there, are, there is clearly a plan. Um, I think the process of uh, negotiation to nominate ministers, the process of making some other appointment may have consumed the attention of both the president and many of the people around him. Uh, I think, I think now that ministers have been, and that is another story altogether, I mean, uh, like I said, uh, many of us are quite disappointed, and I will explain why I, in particular myself, I'm disappointed. Because looking at the, the nominees, the ministerial nominees, there are doctors, there are additional another five that are lawyers, um, and put all together, you can hardly say this is the thinking that goes into nominating. I think it's just politics that has played out. Um, which is not the Aswaju we know. I mean, the Aswaju we know, which we campaign very confidently about, is somebody who, at every point in time, he knows what he wants to achieve, and he knows how to go about getting the people that he's going to work with. Uh, and that is, that is the point I made, I mean, when I said uh, our expectations have crashed. Uh, but... It's not too late, we believe is we are raising it so that he get aware about it and do something to return back to the same Aswaju that we know, uh, which is why in my concluding paragraph I said, I pray that uh, the Aswaju uh, Bola Metinubu, the progressive politician, will be the president of this country for the next four years. And I think that is, that is the point I'm making. So, so um, Madam Salu, when you say that there is clearly a plan, is it a plan that was uh, being campaigned on, the renewed agenda plan? Or there is a, because there was a leaked document that I saw about a strategy of almost an everyday today strategy of how the early days of the Tunubu presidency will look like. But it doesn't look like uh, that is playing out. But when you say there is clearly a plan, are you privy to a plan that these government has had? Because uh, th th those who will ask you, they have not look. seen any plan. What I can tell you I'm privy to is the fact that at least I have over the years observed Aswaju both from close range and from a distance. And I certainly know, know that he is a meticulous person as a leader. And 
whatever is playing now that is distracting him from the set plan, um, I think we need to really, really, really draw his attention that he need to get back to that plan. Uh, I don't believe that he got in here without a plan. I believe there is a plan. And being part of the leadership, I am privy to some of the discussions around the plan. And sincerely speaking, there is a plan, I believe. What has happened in the last few weeks, about six weeks or thereabout, I think is the process of negotiation for appointment that may have distracted the government from the initial plan. And my appeal, and that is why I said, as a loyal member of APCR and as a Nigerian, because part of the problem of politics in this country, and we must address that, is a situation where people are permanently on the election mode. Uh, we just come out of election. Whether we like it or not as a nation, the next election will be in the next four years. And therefore, we must do everything possible to engage our leaders to get it right so that in the next four years, life should get better. And I think as a party, I believe our leaders are committed to that. And I believe Aswaju as president of this country is committed to that. It's up to us to really engage him in a way that he appreciates that he doesn't have much options. Let, let, me, let, me, let me quickly add this, and, and i like a very brief answer to this so that we can move to a list of a long list of other issues. Do you uh, uh, perhaps imagine that there could have been some kind of cabals around the president, uh, some strong hand uh, behind the president that perhaps are distracting him, or perhaps the something, is, something the from the... Okay, can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear you now. All right. So, I, I, can you perhaps imagine, because you're talking about a Tunubu that you knew, um, and now what is playing out doesn't look exactly uh, for your understanding and the knowledge that you have of him. Now, do you perhaps imagine maybe, just maybe, there are some powers behind the power uh, or behind the seat of power that are manipulating the process that is not allowing the Bola Tunubu that you know to function optimally and perhaps there are some fundamental things wrong with piloting the affairs of this country. Whatever the power that is behind this scene, my belief is that he is ready and he came prepared, he can deal with those powers. What we are doing now, both as party members and as citizens of this country, is to draw his attention to the fact that he need to really attend to those issues. Because, like I said in the open letter, we must not allow a situation where some of the issues that are happening now become the defining attribute of the Tinubu administration. Because when that happened, it becomes the defining attribute of our party. And like I said, we can as well sign off uh, in terms of our ambition for electoral victory in future elections. But, we, and that is why we have to be very active now to ensure that we support the president. When we criticize, we are not criticizing him to pull him down. We are criticizing him so that he get it right and really sit up and deliver on all the electoral promises we have made to Nigerians. Now, let me take you quickly uh, to the quality of uh, President Tunubu's appointees and cabinet formations. Uh, and you really said, uh, this is one area that you are very critical and use very strong words, such as uh, that expect our expectation from your government has crashed. Uh, that is a very strong one. I mean, if you are to... Uh, analyze or assess which of these uh, appoint appointments you get are you disappointed in well look i prefer to talk in general terms now because to be fair to all those who are nominated they qualify to be ministers they qualify to be in the position they are but the point is at the stage we are as a country we expected and i am saying so as a very active party member who was active in the process leading up to even the emergence of President Aswaju Tinubu. Um, our expectation was that we wanted 
not a business as usual approach. You wanted a situation where the business of my so guys thank you so much for watching how on i see the video wait till i think about this video make i leave in a thought for the comment section i'll see you in my next one bye for now